Hey guys, it's Andy with the Taos Avalanche Center. It's Saturday, January 27th. We're up here on a north aspect above tree line, kind of seeing what's going on in this last week, especially after this uh, very strong wind event we had yesterday. What we're finding is with the strong winds gusting in the 70s yesterday, we're finding a pencil to knife hard wind slab above tree line with the snow we received from Sunday still in place. And in a lot of places, what we're finding is just depth toward them below that. On this slope, we're in a, a deeper area. And so when we're talking about this poor snowpack structure and that some of these avalanches could potentially be larger, we're talking about slopes like this that have had previous loading from earlier storms. And this poor snowpack structure, what we're talking about is strong strength over these weak faceted layers right in here. On most slopes, we're still getting cracking, collapsing, and woofing sounds. And in fact, we actually had shooting cracks well up above us. The slope didn't release. I think it's too stubborn of an angle right now. And it is getting harder and harder to trigger after our last loading event. But if you are planning on getting out here, be aware of the snow that's beneath you. It's these weak, faceted, sugary layers. We're still getting that collapse. Be heads up out there, use good travel techniques. Be aware that you can remote trigger a slope from far away like we've been doing. We're gonna be under a week of high pressure with cold temps. Expect a lot of these, a lot of these facets to continue to grow. And when we finally do get a bigger storm, we now have a pretty good base laid down. And as that week of high pressure, we're gonna see that snowpack faceting out. When we do add a lot more weight, we're gonna be seeing a lot more larger avalanches, potentially raising that avalanche dan danger when we do finally get snow, hopefully around February 5th. Thanks guys. Be sure to check out the Avalanche Center website if you are planning on getting out there. And if you do get out, please send us observations. We could really use them. It just makes our product better.